The high-resolution camera on NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has photographed the Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity beside a stadium-sized crater, which the rover will explore over the next several weeks. The time includes an important milestone for Opportunity and its twin, Spirit. This month, both rovers are celebrating their seventh anniversaries on Mars. It's been seven years since the rovers landed on Mars, and this was originally a 90-day mission, only three months, and here we are some seven years later, and we're still exploring and we're still discovering on the surface with these rovers. Recently, the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter took a picture of Santa Maria Crater with Opportunity right there, and so if you zoom in on the picture, you can see Opportunity right there at the edge of the crater. You know, this is just like a parent at the Grand Canyon, and your child is walking around to the other rim, and you see them very close to the edge and you get a little worried, but no, the rover's right there uh, doing what we have her doing, exploring that crater. After Opportunity has finished uh, the investigation of Santa Maria Crater, which will happen after we complete solar conjunction, so around mid-February, uh, the rover is going to, you know, pick things up and start driving again and head towards Endeavor Crater, which is still about six kilometers away as the crow flies. So it'll take us some time to get there, you know, probably with the order of a Martian year, maybe two Earth years. But that's our next big objective because we know there are these clay minerals present in the rim of Endeavor Crater that is suggestive of ancient water on Mars that was of neutral pH. Uh, neutral water is what astrobiologists um, assess that life started in. And so the fact that there is uh, evidence of ancient neutral water on Mars is very exciting for the biopotential of the planet. Spirit has gone into a deep sleep uh, during the, the winter, and Spirit will get colder than she's ever gotten before, so there's a real risk that the rover may not survive the winter. However, if Spirit does survive the winter, uh, we are listening, uh, and we're listening every day to see if the rover wakes up and talks to us. And so that's what we've been doing ever since March. We haven't heard from, from Spirit since, um, and, but energy levels should be improving every single day and we'll continue to listen uh, as long as we think there's a chance of hearing from, from the rover.